what's going on guys it's Justin and in this video okay you know people have been saying the Rock and Cena match it's a one-of-a-kind match undoubtedly it is going to be a historical match between these two legends in WWE but one thing that some people have been getting wrong with this whole build for John Cena and The Rock is that they're saying that John Cena and The Rock is the first main event at WrestleMania to ever have a year build. And this is where, you know, a lot of the young fans may not understand where I'm coming from with this, but there was a build that took place for a whole year before this Rock and John Cena one. And the build that I'm referring to is for WrestleMania four, uh, 5. Okay? It all started at WrestleMania 4. Macho Man wins the title against Ted DiBiase in the tournament and was helped by Hulk Hogan, which created the Mega Powers. The Mega Powers went on for about half a year together as a team um, through SummerSlam against uh, Andre and Ted DiBiase, through Survivor Series against Hakeem and um, Big Boss Man, and then of course it would lead up to the match they had against Hakeem and Big Boss Man at a Saturday Night's main event where um, Hogan was thrown, or uh, sorry, Macho Man was thrown through the ropes, hit Elizabeth, Hulk Hogan saw that Elizabeth was down, carried Elizabeth to the back, Macho Man freaked out and attacked Hogan at the back, which would build up their rivalry for WrestleMania 5. So if you look at that, that was a potential storyline build pro wrestling over a year. They may not have been rivalries off the bat, but it still had a year's worth of build there because, you know, Hogan had lost his title after WrestleMania 3 because the whole Andre the Giant referee situation on Saturday night's main event where there was two Earl Hef Hefners um, in the ring and Andre won the title, was going to give it to Ted DiBiase, and Supposedly Ted DiBiase was supposed to become the champion and it didn't work out that way so Hogan was stripped of his title which led to the tournament at WrestleMania. So the storyline, you know, there was a progressive storyline there for more than a year. So I just thought I would give you guys a little bit of insight on that because, you know, a lot of fans, like I said, are coming on here mistakenly saying that this is the first time there's ever been a year's worth of build for WrestleMania pay-per-view. It may be the first time in about 20 years, but there has been one in the past. Like I said, they may not have started off as enemies, but progressively over the year, um, the rivalry between Hulk Hogan and Macho Man built up to their feud at WrestleMania 5. And, you know, of course that was an epic match between those two. But if you look at it, it's sort of the same here. Progressively since WrestleMania 27, you know, of course, at WrestleMania 27, The Rock had some negative stuff to say about John Cena. Excuse me. But leading up to WrestleMania 28 was where the rivalry really built up. So that's been my video for today. And I will catch you guys later. Mad love. One love. Peace.